Hello out there, all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game Idea Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another 3DS Game Ideas video. And this time I'm going to be talking about an old Sega CD game that I really think not very many people actually knew about or even played. And that is Battle Corps. Um, Battle Corps, not Battle Corps. I always said Battle Corps when I was younger, and I guess the habit stuck with me. It's Battle Corps. <laughs> I, I remember this game so well because uh, there was a certain point I'd always get stuck at, and I think it was in the f it was in the fourth stage. I'd always get stuck at this one point, and I'd keep losing all my characters. Um, but let me let me instead of jumping the gun here, let me go back. Um, Battle Core is a mech based action adventure, I guess you'd say game. Um. You go on, a, you go out on these missions uh, to destroy certain objects or um, recover certain items. I believe that's the case. Some, uh, I could be wrong. It's been like <laughs> it's been more than fifteen years. I know that much. I think the last time I played one of those games, I was eleven. <laughs> so, I think the last time I actually played that game, I might have been 11 because my brother traded in a whole bunch of my Sega CD stuff and I was pissed off about it when he did it, but it, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but um, Battle Core, you had three characters you could play with. You had a guy, you had a girl, and then you had a robot. Like in each character's uh, mech had its own abilities and uh, uh, positives and negatives, it had its shortcomings and uh, pros and stuff. And I generally liked playing with the robot more than everybody else. Um, I remember, if I remember correctly, you, the the state of repair that your mech is in carries over to your next mission, and you have to leave it in. Uh, you have to leave it behind for, in order to have it get repaired. So once you switch, once you complete another mission, that mech would be repaired and back in order, and you could use it at its fullest potential again. If I remember correctly, it's, again, it's been a while. I do remember that the damage carries over. I know that for a fact because because there's some a couple times I tried to rush through levels with the same character and ended up losing that character because <clears throat> their mech was too damaged to go on. And I and then once I got to a certain point, I just took too much damage to be able to sustain it. So. <laughs> I learned quickly to change characters. <laughs> like I learned very quickly to change characters. Because once you lose all three games over and you have to start back over. Um, <clears throat> it was really good. A really good game for the time. And it has this awesome soundtrack. Like all of the music is like really good in this game. But like I'm not going to lie to you. All of the music is good in this game. And it was like one of my favorite games to play on sega cd because of the music and i was <laughs> and it's just thinking back then how much i enjoyed playing that game and then i'd sometimes just once i took out enough stuff to be able to sit still for a moment i just let my uh, character sit and just listen to the music because i don't think there was a sound test in the game because i think you just basically had uh, your option screen which allowed you to change button configurations and then you had start game <laughs> that was about it there was no save nothing there was no password system like none of that you just had to just try to bulldoze through this game now putting it on the 3ds there are a couple changes i would make firstly your top screen would be looking out of the uh automatically no matter what your top screen would be looking out of the visor the window of the the windshield of your mac um <clears throat> whereas the bottom screen would house all of the uh, internal things that you can use in the mech, like all of your switches and stuff. I would allow for you to be able to use a touchscreen in order to use those things or to use buttons to do the same thing. Like, either one. But like, just for everybody owns, everyone's own personal play experience, they could do either one depending on what they wanted. Uh, <clears throat> make the game um, new 3DS ready, but not, it wouldn't be required to have the new 3DS to play it, obviously. Um, graphically, I'd probably take it to a more cell shaded look instead of make keeping it with sprites, even though I like the, the the way the game looked. But I think cell shaded, a cell shaded design would actually enhance the visuals a lot, and it would probably 
it probably make the game a little bit more visually pleasant. Um, but again, it's not a necessity. It's just something I would personally like. I would do. I would have done. Um, I would also add in a save system to this game, <laughs> so that you can get to a certain point and you can save your game. I'd also have a have added in a shop mode that would allow you to accumulate funds for completing missions. And you can use those funds to repair or fix your mechs and um, be able to continue on. I'd keep the same three characters um, either way. I'd keep the same three characters available and possibly make sure make there be a fourth available like the commanding officer dude that debriefs you and gives you all your missions. I'd probably make him playable, but his mech would have to be a special one. That has a lot. It has a high defense. It gives high damage. So it would be something that you'd earn after completing the game. Or since 3DS allows you to earn tokens for walking, if you have enough of them early on <laughs> in the life of early on playing the game, you can purchase him with the with those coins for being a person that walks around with your 3DS in your pocket <laughs> for not being lazy. <laughs> So you get rewarded. I think that would actually be pretty cool. Or, or since Nintendo's doing this now, allow you to purchase him with uh, Club Nintendo coins. I mean, not Club Nintendo, my Nintendo <laughs> with the with the platinum coins. I was that would be good for a good use for platinum coins for unlockables in games. So if you don't want to work to unlock it, and you already have like all these platinum coins, you can use the platinum coins for that. Instead of using the gold coins, which gold coins are refer or are money based, the platinum coins wouldn't be money based, and they would allow you to unlock things earlier on <laughs> that <clears throat> you would have to unlock in the game anyway. You got me. So it's not paid to win; it's just pay to get early. But you're not actually paying for those point those coins anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. <laughs> I think I'll do a video on that separately another time. Um, I would keep the soundtrack that's currently in it, but I'd also, and I since I like them so much, I'd hit up OC Remix to do a remixed version of the album. Which that way you'd have both soundtracks available. You'd have the original that's on the, that came on the Sega CD, and then you'd have the updated OC Remix version. And you could choose either one in order to play and be able to swap them on the fly during the game by just pausing it and going into the options and swapping your soundtrack. Um, outside of that, I keep the game largely the same. <laughs> um, outside of the few tweaks that I said should happen and stuff like that. But that's it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more stuff for me. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out. <laughs>